What brought me here was the fact that as a teenager, I was getting in a lot of trouble. Um, I came from a two-family household, but there was a lot of things going on within the home, and uh, I just kind of um, used negative ex experiences to prevent. I really didn't have a, um, a voice at home, and a lot of things were happening, like abuse within the family, and I just used you know, negative things to uh, express myself, not thinking that, the more negative things I got myself into, those bad choices will lead to uh, more worse consequences. And by the age of 18, I just became, a, I guess, a career criminal. And I just, these bad choices became bad habits that I could not break. And I just started hanging around people, places, and things that weren't conducive to the lifestyle that I need to be living. Um, so I started to get locked up as an adult, and I was getting locked up from different municipal counties. Never did prison time, but a lot of county jails. And uh, my last situation, I was going through what we call the Green Monster, but it is the, the county jail in Newark, um, next to Delaney Hall, the Essex County Correctional Facility. And because my crime wasn't considered too violent, um, they transferred me to Logan Hall, which is part of the CEC, one of the um, treatment programs. And I was there for 21 days. I was sentenced to 21 days there. And in the beginning, I was really resistant. I was angry because um, even though I make the bad choices, I have a good character. Every morning we would have morning meetings at the Logan Hall and different agencies would come in and people would speak to us. Um, Alumni would come um, and say how they transformed and how CEC changed their, their lives. And then one particular day, I just I get, got sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I listened. I actually, instead of sitting there and just counting when the hour was up, and I actually listened to what the woman was talking about. And she was from the Wise Women's Center from Essex County College. And she basically promoted education. She said, when you know better, you do better. Why not try to go get a college degree? Why not try to pursue your dreams through education? I ended up doing the human and social services component. Um, I tried to be a nurse three times in my life, but because of my criminal history, they kept on denying me. So I had to figure out what else could I do that was comparable to helping people. And I said, why not do this? Why not become a counselor? Why not become a social worker? Become an advocate for you're the poster child. Why not help someone else? Get, show them the blueprint of change. And I just stuck to it. I was on a dean's list consecutively for all four semesters at Essex County College. Then I transferred to Rutgers um, in the fall. Um, there's a program, NJ Step, that is actually goes to prisons and helps um, a felon, felony f f offenders um, rehabilitate and get college degrees while they're in prison. And once you get released, you're in this program called the NJ Step, and you go to Rutgers. So I got myself enrolled with them because they're like they're a safe haven for a lot of students that go to Rutgers. You wouldn't know they have criminal records. So they've been very supportive. Um, they assist with financial aid and any stressors they help us with. And because Rutgers is a very competitive, very demanding school. And at this juncture, I, I'm a rising senior and I'll be graduated May 27th with my BSW.